One of the biggest mistakes that people make when counting calories is dismissing the caloric availability of a food. Check this out, 180 calories of peanuts and 180 calories of peanut butter. When you chew and digest the peanuts, you can't break it all the way down. So a portion of the 180 calories actually leaves your body undigested. You don't have access to those calories. Calorie counting is not accurate. And one of the criticisms is this. The energy that you consume is not the same as the energy you absorb. And it's true. But you already know that, right? If you ate a can of sweet corn and looked in the bowl after metaphorically dropping the kids off at the pool, you wouldn't be surprised to see sweet corn. I first talked about this several years ago, and nuts are the most studied example. Despite being calorie-dense little fuckers, for some surprising reason, diets high in nuts don't seem to be linked with weight gain. And one possible reason why is when you eat these, the cell wall acts as a protective barrier, so your body can't break them down fully. Some of the food passes through you and joins the sweet corn that you peaked at previously. Whereas if you grind these into peanut butter, they become easier to absorb, so your body digests more of that energy. And peanut oil is easier to digest again. The caloric availability that they refer to is known as metabolizable energy. If you put 500 calories of these in your mouth, that is gross energy. But some passes through you, leaving behind the metabolizable energy content. And although numbers vary, the metabolizable energy for nuts has been measured as being 25% lower for almonds, 21% for water walnuts, 16% for cashews, and 5% for pistachios. Which also changes depending on how that food is processed, and changes again depending on how well you chew your food. Basically, if you eat 2,000 calories from one diet, the total number of calories you absorb might be different to 2,000 calories from another diet. Protein content, fiber content, food processing, specific foods within that can all make a difference. But this is not a calorie counting mistake or something to freak out about. But it is a good reminder that calorie counting can never be fully precise, and that's okay. And two diets can have the same calorie content on paper, but still have very different effects in the body.